Okay, so we're going to go over a few basics about um, how to do, how to type in the code once we're ready to type in the code. This is a place, this is called a web editor, and this is where you're going to be typing in your code. And then once you're done typing in the code that we teach you to type in, you're going to click this link here that says show web page, and it's going to show you what it looks like. Now every page that you start with is going to pretty much have some code already in there, but let's just get rid of that right now so that you can see what the code, what typing in code looks like. Um, the key thing with HTML to remember is that uh, basically what you're doing is you're telling the web browser, the either Microsoft, the Internet Explorer or Mozilla, Firefox, you're telling it how you want the text that you type in, how you want it to be displayed. And the way that you do that is by um, giving it specific tags. And so let me show you how to write a tag first, and then we'll go over the, the rest of the stuff later. But let's just make sure we understand how to write a tag. Um, basically, if I type in my name right here, Frazier, uh, that is text that if I click show web page right now, it's just going to probably show up here and you'll see my name Frazier. But I want to give I want to type in some codes and these are behind the scenes codes. These aren't things that the people who are looking at the web page will see. This is stuff that the browser will interpret uh, and effectively translate. So the way we do that is by typing a tag. And so I'm going to type in a tag and the way I type in a tag is this format. It's the uh, greater than sign or less than sign, then I type in the name of the tag, in this case it will be H1, and then I type in the uh, end bracket, we call it a bracket, uh, but it, you can call it greater than or less than or, or what have you. So this is the front, this is the back, here is the uh, information that um, is the that the browser is going to interpret. And so then I type in the text that I want to type in. And then I have to tell the browser that I'm done with that particular tag. And so the way I do that is basically by taking this information, and I can even copy it. I'm going to do a right click with my mouse and copy it and type paste it here. But I need to let it know that this is the end tag, not the beginning tag. And the way that I do that is I put in a slash, and it's a forward slash. And the forward slash is below the um, question mark on your keyboard. Okay, so you type in beginning tag, then you type in your text, then you type in end tag, and that lets the browser know that whatever is in between these two tags, that you want it to show up, and you want it to show up based on whatever this tag means. And this this tag is called a header tag, and it specifically tells the browser that you want the text to be big uh, and a little darker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click show web page and see how that shows up. So you can see that that's bigger, a little darker than what I had. Now if I get rid of that tag, if I remove that tag, then it's the browser is just going to show the text um, basically, right? So what I want to do is just demonstrate that, again, I can, the, everything that we're going to be learning is about what tag to use, um, but I want to make sure you understand what tags are and how to do tags. And so it, the key thing to think about is that tags are going to involve the greater than sign, name of the tag, less than sign, and that's going to be the, um, uh, that's going to be the, beginning tag and then to end a tag you're going to do the greater than sign forward slash name of the tag uh, less than sign and that tells the uh, that tells the browser that to take whatever's inside here and apply this tag to it okay so that's what we do and we're going to see that over and over again if I want to write the title of a web page then I'm going to do this and then put Fraser's page, and then I do the same thing in title. That's how I do that. Later on, if I want to center something, 
I'm going to type center and then my centered text and center. So the thing that you want to get a good habit of doing is saying that there's going to be a start tag, there's going to be an end tag. Remember that the end tag is always going to have that forward slash to let you know that it's an end tag. And then whatever is the text that you want to work with is going to go in between those two tags. Okay? So those are just the, some key basics that I want to make sure you're aware of um, before we get into actually the document structure of a page. So just to, <coughs> just to uh, show how this works, um, let me get rid of that one because that one doesn't show up. Um, I click show web page, you can see header, my centered text, and that works perfectly.